Hello guys, welcome back. Senate passes anti-sexual harassment bill. Wow, what a great news. But please, before I continue, if you are just joining us for the first time on this channel, or you are yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe. The Senate on Tuesday passed the bill on sexual harassment in tertiary institutions after reading it for the third time. The bill titled A Bill for an Act to Prevent, Prohibit and Redress Sexual Harassment of Students in Tertiary Educational Institutions and for Matters Concerned Therewith 2019 was sponsored by the Deputy Senate President Ovie Omoagege and 106 other senators. The passage of the bill followed the consideration of the report of the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, which was in charge of reviewing the bill and organizing a public hearing on the legislation. The bill was reintroduced in the Senate on October 9 and scaled second reading on November 6. The bill, with 25 clauses, seeks to promote and protect ethical standards in tertiary institutions. It also seeks to protest, protect students against sexual harassment as well as prevent sexual harassment of students by educators in tertiary institutions. The bill also proposes up to 14 years jail term for offenders. Premium Times reported in details the provision of the bill. The bill was reintroduced to the Senate two days after a BBC documentary exposed two lecturers of the University of Lagos and a lecturer of the University of Ghana for sexual harassment. The documentary sparked reactions from many Nigerians who described the issue as a norm in Nigerian universities. During the public hearing, lecturers, students, academic bodies and civil organizations raised concerns and proposed amendments to the bill. One of such was the chairman of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, Biodun Ogunyemi, who described the legislation as biased. He said the bill will stigmatize lecturers in universities. Hmm, the passage. In his presentation, chairman of the committee, Bamidele Okeyemi, said sexual harassment has been made an offense by removing mutual consent as a defense in prosecution of sexual harassment cases in tertiary educational institutions. The bill, he said, seeks to maintain the relationship that exists between educators and students with the aim of making tertiary institutions conducive centers of learning. The bill seeks to tame the hydra-headed monster in the name of sexual harassment, which has become a pandemic in our tertiary institutions. The Senate thereafter resolved into the Committee of the Whole to consider and pass the bill. In his remark, the Senate President Ahmad Lawan said the bill is an important and land landmark legislation that the Ninth Senate has passed. We have to protect our daughters, sisters, mothers from sexual predators. From the recommendations, we wanted a fair means of offense that somebody is accused of. We want tertiary institutions to be safe and peaceful learning environment for everyone, he said. The bill will be transmitted to the House of Representatives for concurrence and then sent, sent to the President for assent. What a great news. However, Nigerians have reacted as usual. ODJ124 roots. Hmm. Some lecturers and individuals will be unhappy hearing this. That really so. Smart Prof roots. In Nigerian tertiary institutions, sexual harassment by some lecturers is not meant to be reported, but graded. 
Male lecturers must also report the rampant sexual harassment from female students, offering their cookie as the magic to getting excellent grades. I hope this legislation can apply to every workplace because each person must live their lives as a model for others. That's a good one. AYT27 wrote, it's only a law if you can enforce it otherwise. It's only a law if you can enforce it otherwise. It's just a recommendation. Signerize wrote, guys should be very careful with ladies now. Watch out for those that will lie against you. Don't allow unnecessary visitation. Hmm. Mana BBQ Grills wrote, This is the change we voted for. God bless our darling daddy and his amiable vice president, Professor Yemi Osibajo, for all the work they are doing to make this warm battered nation work again. Guys, you can help about this rape issue in your neighborhood and surrounding. If you hear a troubling sound from your neighbor, knock on that door and ask questions. If you see a man or a boy getting too cozy with a little girl, poke your nose in the matter. In fact, your little amiibo could help prevent rape or molestation. Well, that was a good advice. And someone wrote, to resolve issues like this, it's advisable that different lecturers teach a course instead of one. That doesn't rule out reporting any form of harassment from students. Okay. Lumi wrote, <clears throat> good and kudos to the committee, but the bill is not complete. If false accusations slash blackmail, that is the bill should not be silent or false accusations from students is not addressed in the bill. The penalty for false accusations should be five years higher than rape. Otherwise, okay, people continue accusing people. The mood can't stop me wrote, nice one from our legislators, waiting for the anti-corruption bill to be passed also. <laughs> hey, Collins, Collins wrote, very good. But what of those who go just fabricate lies just to punish the opposite? Hope they go past 14 years. I promote Ruth. I hope they themselves follow it. Good one. Another person wrote, The way they, they pass this bill against outcries, hope their daughters, sisters, runs girls, family members have not been victims of this sexual harassment. Because I just they wonder why the bill to discriminate estimated billing and makes electricity becomes pay as you use becomes so difficult to pass. Anyway, the passage of the bill is to help our feminine gender in Nigeria University. It is a welcome development. Thumbs up for them. Amo Sedwin wrote, great move on the part of the Senate. Prodigious man wrote, good step to prevent this frequent sexual harassment and rape cases. But some ladies will surely take advantage of this. Guys need to be careful. Those randy lecturers will not be happy with this development. Okay. Jolo Jolo wrote, kudos to our lawmakers. But why is it only for the tertiary institution? They would have generalized it. So that the society will be more conducive for everybody. Okay. Valentine Wakwe wrote, I just hope some lecturers in Uniports are reading this now. Because now their own sexual harassment with female students was passed. Hey. Patoski wrote, So this lecturer that won't allow my girlfriend get breathing space that year can be nailed down now. Okay. <laughs> the lazy Buddha wrote, be ready for sporadic witch hunt when this bill receives presidential assent. Sadly, the bill doesn't make any provision for all those. Sir, I didn't write your test. Is there anything I can do? Babes, we no pay certain. Namake don't spoil. <laughs> Another person wrote, Mukta 2000 wrote, selfish group of senates. Why? 
why not prevent, prohibit, and redress sexual harassment on Nigeria? On Nigeria, in Nigeria as a whole, why only students in tertiary education institutions trying to stay out of the bill when it become law, not to catch them? Hmm. This whole approach, this one, are audio and and anti sexual harassment. Why Nigeria still believe that it's only male that has, that sexually harasses the female? A lady will claim that her ex lover raped her because she still feel bitter about him, so desperate to bring him down. Something they maltreat and lock up the accuser without any good investigation. Well, after all said and done, it's good the bill is invoked now. It's left for the president to veto it after it's being read by the House of Rep. So, guys, anything you have to say concerning this? Is, is this a welcome development? Do you think the ladies will take advantage of this to set so many people up? So, guys, if you have anything to say concerning this, drop your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.